Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Maxim Vachialagrav and Alexander Grischuk. This is a game from the Norway Chess Blitz Tournament 2019. Lagrav had white pieces and he started with e4. Alexander Grischuk played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. c3 intending d4 knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4 e5 knight to d5 bishop to c4 e6 lagrave castled kingside d6 d4 the common theory c takes on d4 c takes on d4 bishop to e7 white to move queen to e2 is the most played move lagrau played e takes on d6 bishop takes on d6 queen takes on d6 is the most played move and after knight to c3 black can castle with no problems because knight to b5 is not a big problem Black simply plays queen to d8. Back to our game. In this position, Grishchuk played bishop takes on d6. Knight to c3. And Grishchuk castled king's side. Rook to e1. Let's take it back. How about winning a pawn? If knight takes on d5, e takes on d5. And if bishop takes on d5, then bishop takes on h2, check. And after knight takes on h2, queen takes on d5. Back to our game. Rook to e1 was played. h6. Bishop to b3. Black to move. Knight to f6, and this is a fine move. Knight to e5. Bishop to c7. Bishop to e3. This is the critical position of the game. Grischuk played a developing move, bishop to d7. Let's take it back. Knight takes on e5 should have been conceded. And after d takes on e5, bishop takes on e5. After bishop to c5, bishop takes on c3. Bishop takes on f8, this is quite forced. Queen takes on d1, rook from e takes on d1, bishop takes on b2, rook from a to b1, king takes on f8, rook takes on b2. It is about equal. Back to our game. Bishop to d7 was played. This move has a downside, and Lagrave continued very precisely as if it was a normal time of control. Knight takes on d7. Queen takes knight. White to move. How would you continue? Lagrau played d5. Excellent timing. Getting rid of his IQP. E takes on d5. Knight takes on d5. Knight takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. Rook from a to d8. Let's take it back. If queen takes queen, then bishop takes queen. This position fibers a player with the bishop pair. Back to our game. Rook from a to d8. Queen to h5. Rook from f to e8. White to move. Perhaps rook from a to d1 was expected, but there was a surprise. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Lagrau played this amazing move. Bishop takes on h6. Unbelievable. Will it work? This is now the critical position. Should black play, pawn takes bishop, or rook takes rook on e1 check? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. One is good, 
Jadavan is not. Well, surely Grishchuk considered pawn takes bishop and rejected that move. He played rook takes rook check. Let's take it back. If pawn takes bishop, then queen to g6 check. And after king to h8, queen takes on h6 check. It looks bad for the black king. But let's continue. King to g8. And now if bishop to c2, which happened in the game, then black has this very good defense. Rook to e6. This is the saving move, which Grishchuk missed in his calculations. Well, he had to calculate very quickly. Let's see how black king survives after this. After the standard move, bishop to h7 check. King goes to h8. And after check, king goes to g8. And after check, king goes to f8. One more check. King lives. There is no win for white. White can draw with queen to h4 check, repeating the position. Back to our game. So in this position, Grishchuk picked the wrong move. Rook takes rook check. Rook takes rook. Pawn takes bishop. Queen to g6 check. King to f8. Queen takes on h6 check. King to g8. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is... Bishop to c2. Grishchuk resigned. Rook to e6 is not available. So, black resigned in view of this continuation. Let me show you what happens if queen to d6 is played. Then queen to h7 check. And after king to f8, queen to h8 check. Mate. And let's go back. If black defends h8 square like this, then bishop to h7 check, forcing the king to go to h8, and then discover the check, winning the queen. The Frenchman, Lagrave, has done extremely well in this tournament. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.